Okay, so since I've got some new additions in the gym, chains, what I'm gonna do is give you a little bit of a breakdown on why we use them and how to use them. So, um, what I'm gonna be doing here is using a real sub-maximal weight, and I mean around about 50% of your one rep max. Why do I use chains firstly, okay? So the first reason is usually when you're an accomplished lifter, someone who can use a fair bit of weight, okay? So we're talking getting close to double body weight squats. If you're getting to that type of weight, and now you're sort of hitting a plateau, this can be a variability on something that can help you push through, okay? So it varies the load throughout the lift. When I get down to the bottom of the lift, the chains are gonna be coiled and piled on the floor. What that does then is it means the weight is now at its lightest, okay? So when I'm driving out the hole, instead of being its heaviest, it's now gonna be light. As I drive up through the squat, obviously the chains are gonna be coming up and I'm gonna be getting heavier, which means I'm really gonna to have to drive through to the top and force a stronger lockout. This would be the same for a bench press or a deadlift too. So the heaviest point is gonna be at the top of the lift. Another benefit is when you walk out with the weight, that's when it's most heavy, okay? That's when it, the, um, the weight is obviously, again, at its heaviest point. As I go down, it gets less. So we're really focusing on finishing off the lift with a strong drive. You do a whole program, a whole six to eight to even 12 weeks, just using chains, then, get rid of them and hopefully retest that three to five rep, uh, one RM even, and you can see how that weight has improved. So, a demonstration. So as you can see there, what's happened is I've uh, got down to the bottom of the squat. It's now at its lightest point. So as I'm driving up, I'm now getting a bit more of resistance and I'm gonna have to really push out to lock out at the top of that squat. If you wanna use these, obviously ask me more questions. The load you use is all dependent. These are 16 kilo chains, okay? So 32 kilos altogether. So make sure you include that in your weight to make sure you're not too close to your one RM.